Hi dancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Claudia Dean and this is Jessie. So today we're filming a tutorial on Grand Fuete, or some of you may know them as Italian Fuetes. So we're gonna be taking you through my top tips so you can execute this step perfectly. So I think we get straight into it, but first remember to like, comment and subscribe. Okay, let's get straight into it, Jessie. Now dancers, my first tip is about not brushing through first too much. So obviously we want to brush through a little bit, but the momentum shouldn't be stopped by that motion. So I'm going to take Jessie through and show you how much that I think you should use that first to ensure that you nail the step perfectly. Also dancers, I should have said, Jessie does these to the left. So if you're wondering why we're doing the left side, that's because she's a lefty. So obviously all of these tips, they can be done to either side. It just means you might have to reverse some of the things that I'm saying. Okay, now Jessie, we're just gonna talk about how much we should be brushing through that first. So if you just quickly devlopay that leg up to second for me, just on flat, that's it. Now when we come through, we obviously have to show the first. So face me and show the first but don't put weight on that foot. Yes, yeah, so you wanna stay over your supporting leg just so it can slide through and you can keep it going before you flip around into the attitude. All right, now Jessie, let's try one. So just remember, we don't wanna be stopping in first, we want it to be a nice smooth brush. Okay, let's give it a go. That's it, that's perfect. Tip number two. The right arm here, when we do our developé to second, is the most important. So if this one moves around, if it's not secure or if it's too high, then generally the developé second can really go off and it can travel to the left, which we don't want. So you've got to think of this as your anchor. So do a developé to the side for me. So go developé to the side and anchor it. That's it. Now brush through for me. So brush through. Now imagine that your right arm literally stays where it is all it's going to do is you're gonna bend slightly the lower half of the arm in, that's it, before you come around again. So basically it stays still here, then it keeps in the same position and it bends slightly and then we go flip. That's it. So you almost, you could say, you almost keep this arm on the same level the whole time. Yeah, that's it, and then go flip. Perfect, so that right arm is very important. Tip number three. Now, Jessie, tip number three, what we're going to try and do is make sure when we do our développé that the knee leaves. The reason being, if it doesn't leave, and if we lift it up to about here, it means the whole leg will drag us down, which we don't want. So we want to try and think of everything up and the knee the highest point so we stay over our supporting leg. So try and do a développé to second for me and stay over that right side. Yeah, that's it. That's good. So we don't want to travel to the left at all. Good girl. Tip number four. Now, Jessie, tip number four, we're gonna talk about when we swish through and lift our leg Devon. So if you can do that for me. So we lift through Devon. Okay, now I want you to imagine that your leg here is almost like resting above a table, right? So when you go to flip, it can't move below where you've actually put it Devon. That's it, oh, try that again. <laughs> so face me. There, okay, now keep it at that height. Go, 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 go. Keep it above the table. That's it. So now try it as a full grand fouette, imagining that that leg, as I said, it's staying above something the whole time you do the fouette. Try that for me. Above the table. That's it. Give it one more go. And at the very end too, you can make sure you don't let the upper body go forward. And. Lift that knee, knee. Perfect, that's good. Tip number five. So Jessie, tip number five, we're gonna be talking about the back. So it's really important that we obviously get the right amount of force when we go into these Grand Fuetes. So when we go up into this second here, you go into that position for me, I want you to imagine that someone's pushing this left side. Yeah, so you get enough momentum into the Grand Fuete. So just almost just do the upper body for me so I can see that. So one, left side, that's it. And again, one, left side, good, that's perfect. Tip number six. Now Jesse, this tip is just to make sure that when you do come around the front, that this elbow doesn't stay 
doesn't stay in front of your face. So you want to make sure that you pull it back. One, because it actually looks nicer from the front and for the audience. But two, it actually will give you that little bit more force and it will open out that side of your body when you come around. So can you try one of them for me? And just think of opening out the right elbow. One, and open it out. That's it. Two, and open it out. Perfect. I think that actually helps put you on balance too. Tip number seven. Now, Jesse, this tip is just making sure that when we do finish this attitude and we open that arm out, when we come through to this next retire, don't let this leg drop. Make sure here it stays up really high in a full retire, then goes into the next one. Because obviously it'll make it look a lot heavier and also it'll feel heavier too if you let that leg really um, take the gravity. So you wanna make sure that you lift it up, keep it up, use your adductor, so lift it up for me. So use the adductor, that's it, that's good. And then do your devil pay again, perfect. So just try that for me. So as you come through, remember the height. Go, up, twist, hey, lift it up. Ooh, duck a little bit then, try it once more. So good, and one, and go lift, lift it up. Good girl, better. Keep it high up. Oh, that one dropped. Yeah, you can sort of feel it, can't you? Yeah. yeah, so just remember that it always stays up. Okay, good girl. Tip number eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you did the wrong way. Try that again. Five, six, no, it's eight. One, two, three. Tip number eight. Now dancers, my tip number eight is just to make sure that you find a rhythm and you stick to it. So I always suggest that accenting the up, obviously, is gonna be the better option because it then will lift you slightly. So you're gonna think up and up, down, up, down, up, like that. So you really heighten that part. So now I think we can watch Jessie performing some of these with some music so you can see the accent and all those other seven corrections all at once. You ready, Jessie? <laughs> Bye. 